Welcome to ChristianInfoCo.uk Get Going Guides. Uh, this tutorial will be about making some special effects to an image inside Freeway. So again, you don't need to go into Photoshop uh, to make changes. So I've got an image on the screen here, so we're going to uh, select that. And we've looked at border effects and things that can happen around an image before. But to make changes to this image, we're going to start to introduce uh, an element called Actions. Actions are additional pieces of software that Freeway uses to enhance the products that you're making or to add special effects. A useful one if you're running a photo library is to have a watermark over an image so that uh, if people download it from you then it's got your information on there. You'd want to make an image for that but I'm just going to use a basic one for it. But to add these special effects actions we just go to the item menu and we go down to actions and then the, these are all different things we can do uh, with uh, the images so these are all we want to make into a duotone or solarize it but we're going to add a watermark and what happens is a watermark icon appears here now to control the action we need the actions window open so here it says that we're using the watermark uh, action and we need to select an image that we want to overlay for it. So I'm going to use my new banner, just put that over the top and see what happens. And you can see then that it's allowed, got a um, image embedded over the top. And I can change the opacity uh, of that as well uh, there. So, and I can um, have it centered or aligned in different ways. So. I've instantly made a change to this image uh, via an action. But we can add more than one action. So if we go to actions again, we can uh, try something else. So uh, what I want to do is to try and blur this a little bit. So again, if we go to the actions window, you can click on the action you want, and then it tells you what kind of blur you want on it. And it can blur the whole image and uh, you can do it separately and you can have different kinds of blur uh, as well so catch up square ones but Gaussian is normally the one you want to use on that if you don't want to use an action you don't like it you can hit the cross button and just get rid of it and you're back to normal so also if you're in the actions window you can add more actions here up come all the actions that are available for this so say we want to um, have a uh, linear blur I click on that up comes there and then we can blur it as if something's moving across quite fast so we apply actions to it for various uh, effects and then we can preview it in the browser and see what it looks like and Freeway will do all the processing uh, for it uh, when it renders it and we can change it go back and change our mind so we we'll get the actions window open again and what we're going to do is we're going to add a chroma key element and this will enable us to find white and we want it to find some black uh, as well so it uh, gives you a range of options there and let's add another one so let's turn it into a duotone so it becomes uh, a couple of colors so what do we want it if we don't want it black and white if we want it black and sepia so it looks a bit old we can choose a sepia color here click OK and then we might want to add a black uh, to make it tritone or oh, maybe not so again if you don't like it you can just go back and change it again so there are actions you can have within your freeway document and you can preview them and you can play around with them without having to go into 
any other piece of s software to create it uh, so you can do it on the fly and freeway and you can change the size of it and import another picture into it instead of that one um, so it's very easy to use actions you just click on the item menu and go down to actions uh, and you're done so visit me at www.christianfordco.uk or you can find me on itunes or youtube